Okay guys, welcome back to Jock Outdoors. It's Friday the 20th of October. Um, haven't been out for about for five weeks. So, it's good to be back out again. And today, I am up in Patterdale area and I'm heading up towards Red Tarn, just below the um, summit of Hell Valley. But this is no ordinary walk today because we're now in Storm Babette. So this should make for an interesting camp. I've already just measured the wind speed and already it's rolling gusts of 22 miles per hour and I've not long started the um, ascent so whew, should be interesting to see you up the top to come on now as well as forecasted so lots of rain tonight lots of high winds but um just gonna spin you around you can see all this water in the background there lovely I love him um, Patterdale area really nice up this part as well all the lakes are lovely to be honest but yeah rain or not so beautiful up here. So I've had to put on a, a mid layer there just to keep myself warm enough. As soon as you stop, you start to feel the um, the temperature and that wind trying to cut through you. So yeah, I feel better now. coming down now <laughs> it's been a long night in that tent I'm sitting at the start by 7 o'clock and it's not daylight till more or less 7 in the morning so it's 12 hours and then next week the clocks go back an hour so it'll be darker maybe by about 6 o'clock Set. Oh, winter nice ahead. It's all very interesting to say the least. Ooh. You can certainly feel that wind as soon as you stop. When you're walking, it's not too bad, but so I've got my walking stick just to help steady the balance. I don't want to get blown about up here. Okay, just beat you guys. Woo! Surely. Oh. Well, once we get near the top now, because this is getting harder now. Where are them? Where that wall is over there in the background? Oh, 
too far off my original route to be honest we shall see but I've still got four. probably two and a half hours of daylight left so I've got plenty of time man, I've seen one other person up here Follow that wall again, and that should take me if I spin you around. Over the other side there, so I should be able to see right turn from there, and the summit of Hell Valley, depending on the visibility. But I just lost my wind checker, or my wind speed checker, so I don't know how I've managed that, but these winds are getting stronger and stronger now. adventure saying that I think there's more <laughs> it's getting quite dull over there now as well so there's more rain coming in this is definitely going to be one of my um, partners climb jetties with them fighting against the wind pouring in your face I'm trying to keep your balance up here but no sense when you're near the um, when you're near the top or wherever you're planning to camp. So the secret is the secret is basically just to keep moving. Don't stop. You keep that body warm. Keep that body temperature up. My hands are starting to get getting a bit cold now, so. To stop and I'm gonna have to put my gloves on. Oh, Storm Barbet! Okay, guys, well, I've got a nice break with the wind with that wall there. That was pretty rough going, that to be honest. Really rough going, that. But, um, I'll just spin you around now and I can show you in the background there is Hell Velen and I'll just be camping below there for um yeah so it's nice to have a little break so ah, it's good that the end is uh, in sight so let's see what the wind's like when we go over there spin you around there and we can still see some mist coming in so but on the opposite side of that wall there gosh that wind was horrendous so let's hope there's a little break in the weather now I'll bring you back when we get to him Red Tarn There we go! Red Tarn! I can't believe that wind's been back up again, I mean... Oh, it's nice and clear around the back of the head coming in So it should clear up but... Get the tent up. 
get in there because nice warm clothes on. Whew. Okay guys, well, that's me in my tent, um, finally, got it all set up, got all my, um, my gear out, my sleeping bag, my um, Rapide sleeping mats up, um, I've got some nice dry and warm clothes on, which is good, um, I've got a good pitch actually to be honest with you, considering the, um, the landscape up here is so rocky, but that was a very hard day today, um, those weather conditions were just like wild. Um, but it was a good experience. Um, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't deliberately go back out in those sort of conditions again, but I just wanted to try this tent out before the winter came in. Oh, it's better. And um, make sure I felt confident with it. So, yeah, so far so good. It's up, it's taut. It's still blowing a gale out there, so I'm just going to sit here and relax. And um, oops, sorry, I'll keep me there and um, enjoy my brew dog. So I'll give you the I'll walk around of the tent tomorrow morning. Um, enjoy my setup because I didn't have time to do that tonight. Um, yeah. That's a tough, tough day that. Didn't see one other soul today. Now I know why. But anyway, it's all part of the um, learning process. You know, every camp, they always learn something new. So, onwards and upwards. So, on that note guys, have a good night. And I'll talk to you soon. Well, it's just gone 20 past 8 in the morning. Managed to survive Storm Burbet. So, well, we're still getting some gusts and some rain. Let's have a little look outside. Means that's a port carrier or a vestibule. Love it. Plenty of space. Right. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's just absolutely no visibility out there. My GPS is on. So I can follow that. That's even worse than yesterday. <laughs> Got all that mist. Hey guys, on that note, so I'm going to go up, get the coffee, and then get my things packed away. Okay guys, so just going to give you a quick walk around of the um, Hilliberg Nello 2. So, you can see basically it's a tongue design tent. And as you can see, basically I pitched it into the wind advised and um yep the tent didn't move all right solid and at the back here you have a little zip so you can basically 
unzip that and roll that up and that lets better airflow in you know for the warmer days and warmer nights um, but again even the back you know we've got another guy line there very well taut again with hilly bear tents really top class so nights like last night and days like yesterday definitely gives you the confidence as long as you can get the tent up, you'll be nice and safe. So here, at the front basically, you have this little air vent. And what's good about this here, you can actually unzip that and pull all the way down and have a look outside. Also as good as when there's high winds, the wind will basically bounce up off that and through the um, this little airflow gap at the top here, right through the top of the tent. So another reason why I'd advise to um, pitch that into the wind. But yeah, it's lovely and spacious inside. Let's have a quick, quick look inside before the rain comes back on again. Okay. As you can see, of space in the vestibule and if I just quickly go inside and zip this again plenty of space inside plenty of space for one man always gear actually two people would be fine in here and then at the back that actually unzips and um, allows airflow as well so it's, it's quite well vented as well to be honest with you so that is the Hilly Bear Nano 2 tent. Right, on that note, let's get it zipped up and packed away. Okay, let's be all packed up, ready to go. There's a red tarn. Zero visibility. I hope it clears up a bit as I go down. And then spot where I pitch the tent. As always, leave no trace.